So this is a video lesson for This Love Will Carry by Doug, Doug McLean, McLean, McLean probably. Um, uh, we're going to be using capital on the fifth fret, and all of our chords are going to be relative to as if we were open. So a C major shape, I'm going to refer to as a C major chord, okay? A minor shape, A minor chord, even though that's an F, that's a C minor. This is a C major, this is an A minor, this is a G. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to use our thumb, our first finger, our second finger, and our third finger the whole way through the song. To begin with, we're going to start with our thumb on the A string. First finger is going to be on the D string. Second finger on the G string. Third finger on the B. We're going to start with a C major chord. Okay, we're going to go like this. So that is the A string, D string, D string, and B string. Okay, in order, I'm going to play that twice through. Just turn so you can see my fingers. Okay, I'm going to try and get that as even and smooth as we can because it's really important. The pattern's going to be the same the whole way through, we're just going to be on different strings as we move through. Okay, so to begin with, C major twice. Then our right hand's going to do the exact same thing. We're going to move our third finger. Third finger is going to go from the third fret on the A string to the third fret on the D string. Okay, and we're going to keep our second finger in place just because we're going to need it when we go back to the C. Okay, so we're going to go like this twice, and then we're going to move our third finger down one string. And we're going to play A string open. D, G, and B strings as before, okay? And play that twice, okay? So it starts with C major. <laughs> One more time. So without that finger, this is the chord we have. Third fret on the D string with our third finger. First fret on the B string with our first finger. We're just keeping this middle finger in place on the second fret on the D string because that's going to be allowing us just to move this third finger up and down and alternate between these two chords, okay? Then we're going to repeat that whole section twice, okay? So, twice in total. So, one more time. So, we like this, okay? From the beginning. section not too difficult some of the tabs have got a F major 7 in there but I'm pretty sure that that's not right the one we've got is correct okay so then for the main part we're going to be going back to our C major chord so once we've finished our intro part we're going to go straight back to the C major and the same pattern we're going to be using our thumb first finger second finger and third finger on the A D G and B strings respectively Changes there. Uh, I'll turn right, way around. We've got a C major chord for one. Then we're going to move our second finger up to the second fret on the A string, and we're going to remove our third finger. That's going to leave us with this chord, okay? So we've got our second finger on the second fret on the A string, first finger, first fret on the B string. And our fingers are still playing the A, G, B, and E strings, okay? So we're going to go like this. C major, we're going to step down to our root on the B on the A string, that's the 2nd fret. And then we're going to go open on the A string and get an A minor chord in position, okay? So A minor shape right here. And our fingers again, they're just doing the A, G, B, and D strings, okay? So our bass line 
is just going C, B, A. Okay, underneath our chords. little finger to jump up here to the G on the third fret on the E string so that our bass line is stepping through from C to B to A to G okay we're going all the way through you'll see as it gets together how that works okay here we go so there we're getting to our changing our root note to the G, that third fret on the E string, and then we're going to carry on with the G, B, and D, G, and B strings as before for our A minor chord, okay? So that's how that one goes, all right? There we are, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to essentially an F chord, all right? F major, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to play it like this. We're going to play an F major 7 shape, which is really just the top part of an F chord. We're going to have our third finger on the third fret on the D string, second finger, second fret on the G string, first finger, first fret on the B string. Then we're going to use our thumb to fret the first fret at F, essentially, on the low E string, okay? And we're going to play that twice. And you might notice I'm not playing the open A string. We're skipping that entirely. So these three fingers are all playing G, D, G, and B string, okay? So we've got low E here. Try to press quite firmly. If you don't press hard enough, you get some horrible buzzing there. So nice and hard with that thumb hooked over the top. Try not to get too close to the fret. So you mute it. We want it to ring out as much as possible. So we've got our thumb here. We're playing this F major 7 shape. We're doing that twice, okay? So the whole of that section up to there. change from our F major 7 to part of an E minor 7 chord. So all we're doing is moving our middle finger up one string so that it's on the second fret on the D string, playing an E there, and then we're going to play, move our third finger down two strings so we end up, pardon me, on the third fret on the B string, playing a D there, okay, and that's our seventh. So what we're gonna do is gonna play our open E, open low E with our thumb. We're gonna play second fret there. We're using uh, the second fret on the D string. An open G string and the third fret on that B string with our third finger, okay? So from our F, we're gonna go like this. So we're going to go here, we're going to play open E, and then the final part's quite easy, we're just going to do, take our hand off entirely, play a low E with our thumb, and this is the only time that these fingers actually change position, is to change down to the three highest strings, the G, the B, and the E string, and we're going to play the, low, the high E, the B, and the G in descending order, heading up the guitar. That's our final part, okay? E minor 7, then we repeat our low E, high E, B string, G string open, and that takes us back into our C major. And that change from F there, to E minor 7, it's probably the most tricky change, but with practice you'll get it, it's a lot easier, the reason we're hanging our thumb over the top 
is because it's really difficult to go A minor, A minor with G in the bass to a full F chord, doing that, and then jumping. But if you find it easier to do that, or even to just play the F major 7 and bar across, then please do that, it's absolutely fine. I just find that jump really awkward personally, I can't, can't get that to move smoothly, so if I'm over the top, E minor 7, it's actually an E minor chord there, just open, back into our C major, okay so that's the first section, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions or suggestions or corrections, thanks so much.